600 days. That's the amount of time you had to prepare for your JE main and JE advanced when you started the preparation in 11th standard. In this much time period, you were supposed to study the entire syllabus, answer mock tests, answer a lot of your class tests, as well as do revision. Now, those who have done everything very seriously, for them, it's so bravo, you are doing a great job and keep studying this way. But for those who did not take things that seriously, this 600-day time period has now reduced to just about 100 days. JE main ka first attempt January mein hone wala hai and you hardly have about 100 days left. Now, 100 days also seems like a lot of time, but in this time period, you are going to have festivals like Diwali and Christmas, as well as if you are a 12th grade student, you are going to have your pre-board examination. So even though the time that you have feels like 100 days, Effectively, this is only going to be about 80 to 85 days. Now, I know that some of you are obviously thinking that, Bhaiya, we have the JEM in second attempt and that will happen in April. So, we have at least 7-8 months left for the JEM in second attempt. So, why are you scaring us? Why are you telling us that you have only 100 days left for the JEM in exam? Listen, if you think that way, then I want to remind you of some things which are going to change your perspective towards what I said. Yes, I do agree that JE main second attempt is going to happen in April. But around that time, you are going to have so many other things which are more than distractions because they are going to decide your future. You're going to have your 12th standard board exams, which go on for a couple of weeks. You're going to have other private college exams like UGWE and uh, Manipal entrance test, um, VIGEE and all of those exams. If you think that you have seven months left for the JE main second attempt and that you are going to do so much better in that if you focus on that, then my dear friend, honestly, it is just temporary escapism. Is soch ke saath tum apne aap ko bas ek temporary hope aur ek comfort de rahe which will make you happy for the coming weeks. Theek hai, Diwali tak tum bahut khush rahoge. But once the time ticks, you are going to have an instant realization that the amount of time that you thought you had is actually not true. If reality is hitting you right now, take a minute and pause this video and think about what I just said. You realistically have JE main first attempt as the perfect opportunity if you want to achieve the maximum output. If you keep delaying your goal, if you keep delaying the attempt slash exam that you have in your mind, the only thing that is going to affect is your output. Yes, I do remember that video ke start mein bola tha that you had 600 days when you started and you just have 100 days now. I know that you only have one sixth of the amount of time that you had at the start. But if you promise yourself one thing, that you are ready to put six times the effort that you had to put at the start, then I think you can achieve whatever you want in the coming 100 days. For now, only target the first attempt and ye target karo ke tumhe first attempt ko fold na hai. Second attempt mein obviously you will get more time. So if you do well in the first attempt, you will get, you know, time to improve and do better. Chalo, I'm very happy that you have now realized that first attempt is actually your best shot. Starting off the video, whatever I said was not to scare you. It was only to make you realize that you have this much time left and you have to get to your maximum potential. Now that you have decided to take the first attempt of JE very seriously, let us have a step-by-step -step discussion of what you should do to achieve your maximum potential in the next 100 days. Sabse pehli baat hai acceptance. You have to accept that in the next 100 days, you cannot do something magical that will give you an AIR of 10,000 or AIR of 100. You have to be realistic and you have to have realistic targets. I think a very good score and a very good percentile to target in the next 100 days is 130 marks or 97 percentile. According to JMA 2024 data, at 130 marks, you could easily get 97 percentile, which uh, you know basically means that you could get into so many NITs and other government colleges through JE counseling. So instead of having some over ambitious and unrealistic goal, we should target at least 97 to 98 percentile in the first attempt, so that aage ja ke when you have the second attempt, you can improve more and you know get a better rank. A baat hai na ki tum improve tabhi kar sakte ho when you know where you stand. And to understand the exact spot and exact place you stand in, you should answer at least three mock tests. Now, many people will say, brother, our syllabus is not yet complete. We have only studied uh, organic chemistry. Ki hai. Bohat log hai ki humne so, we have left organic chemistry. So, we are not confident to answer a full-length mock test. See, that's the fear you have to overcome. If you answer a full-length mock test, you are not doing it for, uh, you know, the marks. You are doing it to actually get a realistic understand of where you stand. Because once you understand the basic 
uh, foundation of where you stand you can automatically set the building blocks according to your target score so no matter what score you get in these uh, three mock tests may it be 40 marks or may it be 80 marks you know that uh, you have to set a realistic target according to your score and uh, uske basis pe hi you will be able to build on top after you answer three mock tests from a reliable uh, source you will obviously get your marks as well as the analysis report of every single test is analysis report ko tumhe bahut hi detailed way mein read karna hai take some time take a few hours go through the report ekdam shanti se and you will get the data of the chapters and questions that you were able to solve and the questions which you were not able to solve तो जैसे मैंने बोला टेक द एनालिसिस ऑफ ऑल थ्री मॉक टेस्ट एंड गेट टू अ रफ स्कोर गेट टू अ यू नो रेफरेंस पॉइंट कि इन व्हाट रेंज आर यू स्कोरिंग योर मार्क्स इफ योर मॉक टेस्ट स्कोर्स आर 48, 50 एंड 51, दैट मींस यू आर स्कोरिंग अबाउट 50 मार्क्स इन योर मॉक टेस्ट एंड यू नीड टू इम्प्रूव बाई एटी मार्क्स इन द कमिंग हंड्रेड डेज सिमिलरली इफ यू आर स्कोरिंग हंड्रेड देन मे बी योर टारगेट वुड बी नॉट वन बट मे बी वन तो उसके हिसाब से अकॉर्डिंग टू योर स्कोर यू हैव टू सेट अ गुड target for yourself now that you know the questions that you were able to solve and uh, you know the chapters in ke bare mein tum acha feel karte ho jin ke bare mein tum confident ho and the others in which you are not really good at it's time to draft the strategy for the coming few weeks let me tell you how i view the je syllabus for you right now see you should not have the entire je syllabus as your target instead you should split the syllabus in two parts the first one being the chapters that you are confident in and the second one would be the high scoring chapters according to previous year trends now there would be many chapters which you know are uh, overlapping in the both of these categories but if you complete the chapters you are confident in as well as that are high scoring you can very easily achieve a score of 120 to 130 marks i am very sure that in dono categories ko mila ke you are at least going to have 40 to like 42 chapters and uh, obviously in sub chapters मैं अगर तुम कॉन्फिडेंट हो एंड अगर हाई स्कोरिंग है तो यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट एटलीस्ट थर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन विच मीन्स यू कैन स्कोर वन थर्टी मार्क्स वेरी कम्फर्टेबली दो चीज़ों का तुम्हें बहुत ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा एज यू कम्प्लीट दिस चैप्टर्स ऑन द यू नो हायर आर्की ऑफ देयर इंपॉर्टेंस नंबर वन डोंट फोकस टू मच ऑन थियरी सी तुम्हारे पास जो स्टार्टिंग का समय था उसमें तुम्हें पूरी थियरी करनी थी अभी तुम्हारा गोल बस इतना है कि तुम जब एग्जाम हॉल में बैठे हो यू आर एबल टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन एंड यू आर एबल टू टिक द राइट ऑप्शन योर गोल इज नॉट टू गो डीपर इन टू द थियोरी एंड यू नो गो इन टू द रिसर्च ऑफ ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स इट इज सिंपली टू गेट द प्लस फोर मार्क्स फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर इसलिए थियोरी में बहुत ज़्यादा मत घुसो फोकस ऑन कॉन्सेप्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड फोकस ऑन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग सो दैट यू कैन गेट यूज टू द टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दट आर बींग आस्ड फ्रॉम एवरी चैप्टर अब कोई भी चैप्टर हमको देख के बहुत बड़ा लगता है बट डोंट फोकस ऑन द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू आर सॉल्विंग फ्रॉम इट फोकस ऑन द क्वालिटी If you solve 30 to 35 unique questions of every single chapter that is more than enough to gain understanding of what exactly could be asked in the exam hall and and that will make you very confident. Dusri cheez wahi hai jo humne hamare videos mein itni baar dohrai hai that is revision is very very important. Hai na? I am saying the word very two times because it is really very important. The more you revise the chapters you are confident in and the ones that are high scoring the more Uh, easy it will be for you to recall things when you're sitting in the exam hall i will recommend you to have a fixed time every day it could be one hour it could be maybe one and a half hour every single day where you just sit down and revise everything that you have studied as you revise more and more your time to revise will reduce so aage jaake you can reduce it to maybe 30 minutes ye high scoring aur high chapters complete karne ki baat kare to high scoring chapters ki hum log link description mein de denge you can go and check it out there if you want to know ki in high scoring and high confidence wale chapters ko hum log kahan se solve kare and kahan se practice kare Currently, at this stage, your only go-to resource should be the PYQs. JE के last जो भी five six years के PYQs हैं, you will find many many questions of the chapters in the previous shifts. उनको उठाओ, you will find them on the internet. You will find them in books. उनको उठाओ and start solving them according to the priority chapter list that you have made. अब ये सब चीजें, तो you will be slowly developing over a period of the next few months. But what's also important is having an exam temperament. and the paper attempting strategy to develop that try to give one full length mock test every single week 80 days translates to about 10 to 12 weeks so try to give at least 10 mock tests in the coming time period every single week as you complete more and more chapters if you give a mock test it will give you more clarity about how you can manage time with the current knowledge that you have and uh, the analysis will help you to grow further as an aspirant and identify more points of uh, improvement 
देखो यार तुम्हारी तरह हमने हजारों और बच्चों के साथ बात करी है एंड वी हैव इंटरेक्टेड विद सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव बीन अ पार्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट क्लब एंड इवन टुडे दे आर यूजिंग अवर रिसोर्सेज जो भी गोल होता है ना यार वो दो चीज़ों से अचीव होता है एक तो होता है बिलीफ एंड दूसरे होते हैं एक्शंस बिलीव इन वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू अचीव एवरी सिंगल डे थिंक अबाउट द कॉलेज दैट यू वॉन्ट टू गो टू थिंक अबाउट द लाइफ दैट यू वॉन्ट टू लिव एंड द लाइफ दैट यू वॉन्ट टू गिव यर पेरेंट्स इफ़ यू आर गोइंग टू वर्क हार्ड इन द कमिंग फ्यू मंथ्स कॉमेंट बिलो दैट मैं जे ई फोड़ूंगा एंड लेट एस नो दैट यू आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू वर्क हार्ड लाइक वी विल फॉर आवर स्टूडेंट्स इन द कमिंग फ्यू मंथ्स बाकी तो एज इट इज़ वी आर ऑलवेज विद यू एंड वी आर ऑलवेज गोइंग टू मेक श्योर टू मेक द राइट कॉन्टेंट एंड द राइट प्रोडक्ट्स टू हेल्प यू सो ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर जेई मेन एंड साथ में फोड़ेंगे